Okay, gonna do a video on the sin of socialism and communism. What is socialism? Communism, same thing. Merriam-Webster's Dictionary uh, gives two definitions of socialism, which both describe what socialism is. First one, a system or society of, or group living in which there is no private property. Second one, a system or condition of society in which the means of production are owned and controlled by the state. Both of these definitions are a direct denial of what the Word of God says. Socialism denies the biblical concept of private property. The Eighth Commandment teaches the concept of private property ownership because stealing someone from someone means they have property that you're stealing, private property. Exodus chapter 20, verse 15 says, Thou shalt not steal. The Tenth Commandment condemns wanting to take private property from another person. Exodus chapter 20, verse 17, Thou shalt not cover, covet thy neighbor's house, thou shalt not covet thy neighbor's wife, nor, nor his manservant, nor his maidservant, nor his ox, nor his ass, nor anything that is thy neighbor's. Okay? Property. The neighbor's house. The neighbor's ox. He has private property. Socialism is a flat out denial of this. Secondly, socialism denies that it's the man's job to work and provide for himself and his family, and it's not the state's job to do that. It's the man's job. Socialism, socialism says it's the state's job. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 28. Ephesians 4, 28. It says, Let him that stole steal no more, but rather let him labor, working with his hands, that thing which is good, that he may be sorry, that he may have to give to him which need, that needeth. Not the best at reading, I do apologize, but let him that stole steal no more. He got, he's laboring. He's given to them that needs. It's not the state's job to do that. It's the individual person's job, the Christian's job. Acts chapter 20, uh, 20 verse 34 to 35. Acts chapter 20, verses 34. 35. Ye, ye yourselves know that these hands have, mi have ministered unto my necessities and to them that were with me. And I showed you all things, how that so laboring ye ought to support the weak and to remember the words of the Lord Jesus, how he said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. Again, whose job is it? Is it the state's job, the government's job, or is it the individual person's job? It's the person's job. And secondly, who is the one that provides? Is it God or is it the state? Uh, the answer is God is who provides. Proverbs chapter 10, verse 3. Proverbs 10, verse 3. And the Lord will not suffer the soul of the righteous to famish, but he casteth away the substance of the wicked. Philippians 4, 19. Philippians chapter 4 and verse 19. But my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Okay? God is who provides for you. So when a man works, he's provided to by God, not the state. Socialism makes that where the state is God. It makes the government, the state government, into God. Socialism is antichrist. It is a plain denial of what the word of God teaches. So no, Jesus Christ was not a socialist. And socialism is anti-God. Which is why the socialist, communist regimes of Soviet Russia, uh, China, North Korea, all were militantly atheist, and they uh, banned all religion, not just Christianity, they banned basically any religion aside from atheism. Atheism was just state-enforced religion. Because atheism is a religion when it comes down to it. But communism is atheist because communism is anti-God. You know, that's why Nazism is also anti-God, because Nazism is just communism repackaged. You know, don't buy into this thing of, oh, Hitler fought the communists. No, Nazism is just communism repackaged. Nazism, communism, all that stuff, it's just all authoritarian. Um, it's, all, it's a big authoritarian mess. You know, uh, I've heard communism and, and Nazism are called the, the totalitarian twins, which is true. So don't buy into this whole fascist, Nazi versus communist, Marxist thing. Uh, they're just two sides of the same coin. Nazism, communism, both just two sides of the same authoritarian, um, just brutal coin. So don't 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 fall into that false dichotomy. But socialism is anti God, it is anti Bible, and it's a plain denial of what the Word of God teaches. So just wanted to do this video. Um, don't don't buy into the lies of socialism. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren.
Goodbye. Thank you.